M0FXB, welcome to my channel. Just a quick one here, you can see in the background we've got my Retavis radio running OpenGD77. It's running the OSTAR hotspot, hot spot. so the dashboard looks like this. It's not PiStar, and uh, you can get these from AliExpress for uh, £60, £70. They, they don't need an SD card. They come with a USB board. It, they look the same as a Jumbo hotspot, but they're not. You know, inside, these are some of the... Uh, images that we've got and I've got some uh, instructions here so the main thing is once you get the device you just turn it on when you turn it on in your Wi-Fi you will see the words OSTAR with a couple of other you know with a couple of other digits okay and all you do that that becomes your password when you log in once you log into it and this is what the board looks like inside I'll just show you here so you've got a normal MMDVM hat at the top, then you've got this USB board. It's got at the front, it's got a factory reset button. Uh, also turn Wi-Fi on and off, but everything's set up for you. You don't really have to do any of that, but you do have to configure your, your Wi-Fi. So once you get to this point, you go to, let's have a look now, settings. Uh, the part, the default password is one, two, three, four, five, which you can reset. Okay, then you get to this page, which is general, and you put in your core sign here, your DMR number. This is the default frequency, but of course you can change it, you can add your, your position, and that's all you do, and you click save and apply. I, you could just do save, but I do save and apply. Once you've gone, you've got to that point, you, you select digital mode. Like so, you know, you do need to have this device very near your router, I would say as, as close as two foot. So I'm going to message them about making the, the Wi-Fi a bit stronger. I don't notice there's a, little, there's a small antenna connector on the board. So I was hoping, if you look here, yeah, you can see that. See that there? That small antenna. I was hoping that that is Wi-Fi and that the Wi-Fi can be extended. Uh, otherwise, it's usable uh, as long as you keep it next to your router, basically. Uh, I haven't tried it with Ethernet yet, I will try that. So then you just set, look, your DMR, you select DMR if you want DMR, Brandmeister, you put in your password for self-care and set that up in self-care as well. Just Google Brandmeister self-care and you'll get lots of videos telling you how to do that. And then in YSF or Fusion here, I haven't enabled it, but you can. I've selected, for, you've got a drop-down list here, a nice long one. I've put in CQ UK and I have tested this on DSTAR and... Um, um, all the modes, D-Star, DMR, Fusion. If you scroll down, you've got D-Star, just select B, most of us use B, then you've got G, and then when you put in the startup, so what it boots up to, if I selected here, enable D-Star, I would tick this box, and you put in REF, sorry, spelled that one wrong, um, capital F, like so, 30 space Charlie, and just, I'm just gonna click save for now. Right, okay, and then once you've done that, you need to set your Wi-Fi up. So then you go to, I know it's unusual, you go to services at the top, and it's called Travel Mate. I don't know why they call it Travel Mate, but it is called Travel Mate. So we click Travel Mate, and then once we're in this Travel Mate window here, we click Wireless Stations. Once you get to Wireless Stations, you will just see the bottom one here, your SSD. So hit the Scan button, which is here, blue Scan button. And it will scan, it will find your Wi-Fi. And once it finds it, all you've got to do is really add it, add your um, your password for your router. This thing where it's saying there's no password, that's because we're still using the one, two, three, four, five. So we'll just refer as well to the actual instructions which you've got here as well. So like I said, you go to this and you get this, it says radio, this is what you see, click scan, when you click scan you'll get a list, and then in the list just click the one and click add uplink, and that's the one you're going to use, like so, and then once you see that, and select it, you just need to put in the, the username of your broadband router at home, select this, WPA2 PSK, which should be default and the tick here automatic and then put in your password for your router your broadband router at home 
and then click save and you might have to reboot it but what but also before you do that so you'll have the new one you've created in, in here at the bottom move it up to the top just by clicking up now if it's blue it means you've got a connection if it's still in gray you're not connected so just move that hotspot just a bit closer to your router and it will start to work and message if any problems at all just message me you know and we'll uh get this working so you can set you know in all these settings you can set your frequency like i said at the beginning here you've got your call sign goes here dmr number in general tab digi modes is where you select this tab here is where you select you know what what you're going to connect to whether you want dmr d star fusion and away you go and that's it it's the o star system so it is different thanks there's a couple of guys locally on uh 146520 on simplex interesting that's it bye for now thanks for watching seven three all the best